for the welded connections, we need to design for the resistance of the fillet weld in order to ensure the connections does not fail. This slide shows the equations to determine the resistance of the fillet weld. In principle, the resistance provided by the weld needs to be greater than the load acting on the connections so that the connections does not fail. The resistance is determined by the multiplications of the design strength of the weld with the trot thickness. This figure shows how we obtain the trot thickness A. It is basically determined from the perpendicular distance from the joints between two members to the closest positions of the meniscus. This concept is applicable also for the member which at a angle positions and the thickness needs to be greater than 3 mm. To determine the design shear strength of the weld, this equation is applied. A few here represent the ultimate tensile strength and beta W here represent the correlation factor in comparisons to different grades of steel. The factor of safety here, gamma M2, will be equals to 1.25. With that, we are able to determine the resistance of the fillet weld and it is to be checked against the apply load to the connections. The resistance need to be greater than the load in order to ensure the connections does not fail.